Eyewitness News at 4.30. I'm Kara Sundlin and new at 4.30 in an emergency timing, of course, is of the essence. And that proved to be true for one teen when her body went into septic shock. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler tells us one girl's story and why she wants now to raise awareness for others. At 16 years old, Sadie Kurdar had a medical emergency that nearly took her life. I ended up at this hospital, Connecticut Children's. The New York native was on a plane home from summer camp when it suddenly started having mechanical issues. The plane was diverted to Bradley Airport. That time on land ended up being critical. When we had the emergency landing, me and one of my friends felt really nauseous and she threw up. So I thought it was completely normal when I threw up because I was like, oh, we're just both plane sick. Those symptoms quickly escalated. I like went pale. Everyone was like, are you okay? I couldn't stand up. I was on the ground, like throwing up. Luckily, due to the emergency landing, an ambulance and emergency crew were nearby. The then 15 year old says that time in the ambulance is a blur. I was trying to stay awake because like I didn't know what was happening to me, but it almost felt like I couldn't. Her parents were five hours away in Long Island. When they got there, the team went into septic shock. My eyes rolled back and I went into septic shock. And then from there, I stayed in the ICU for five days. The culprit, a tampon. Kurdar's mother couldn't believe it. Tampon. Sadie was very, very good about changing her tampon, but she was using a super absorbent tampon. A doctor of pediatric emergency medicine says sepsis is caused when a body is reacting to an infection. It gets out of control and the body's response is part of the problem. Dr. Lorick says some symptoms are clammy hands, inability to stand, looking blue, and a rash. Kurdar says at camp she noticed a rash, but due to the lack in education on toxic shock syndrome, she thought nothing of it. Now she's using her voice to make sure schools communicate about the risks of using an absorbent tampon. It's like wish that I'd known like what symptoms were. I actually started a website called teachschoolshock.com and it has like my story on it and like a bunch of just resources for people to see. In Hartford, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.